Hi, uh, my name is Basir. Uh, so you have a doubt in question number six from exercise 11.2, right? Uh, the question number six says in triangle X, Y, Z, right angle is at Y. So I have already drawn a right angle triangle here. That's my right angle triangle with angle Y as 90 degrees. Because in the question it mentioned, it is a right angle at Y. Y, Z is given as X and X, Z is given as 2X y z is given as x so this y z is given as x and then x z is given as 2x determine angle y x z angle y x z is nothing but this angle right so we have to find out that angle and then y z x angle y z x which means the these this angle so i have to find out these two angles Finding out these two angles is very very easy. See, uh, for with respect to this angle, angle X, this angle is angle Y Z X, right? This angle is nothing but angle Y Z X, right? With respect to this angle, the opposite side is Y Z, and the hypotenuse is X Z. So I'm writing here. <coughs> I know the hypo, uh, the opposite side and I know the hypotenuse for angle Y, Z, X. So, so what is opposite by hypotenuse? Opposite by hypotenuse is sine. So I'm taking sine here. Sine of this angle should be sine theta is what? Opposite side by hypotenuse, right? Sine theta is opposite side by hypotenuse. So sine of angle Y, X, Z should be Opposite side, which is the opposite side? Opposite side is YZ, the value of YZ is X. And what is the hypotenuse? The hy hypotenuse is 2X. So I'm writing 2X here, X one the X one the So sine of angle YXZ is one by two. And when do you get one by two uh, in sine? Sine 30 degrees is one by two, right? So this angle YXZ becomes equal to 30 degrees because sine it becomes equal to half when it is when the angle is 30 degrees sine 30 degrees is half so this angle y z x becomes equal to 30 degrees now let me do the next one for you i'll draw the same triangle the same triangle here x y z just just so you have clarity now this is given as x this is given as 2x we have already found out the angle y z x as 30 degrees now we have to find out angle y z x now for angle y z x for this angle the x that is given that is nothing but the adjacent side of it right for angle z this x is the adjacent side this x belongs to the adjacent side and this 2x that is given that is nothing but the hypotenuse so if i have to find out angle y z x what what do i know i know the adjacent side i know the hypotenuse so i'll take cos theta because we know that cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse right cos what is theta this angle is what y z x angle y z x adjacent side is x hypotenuse is 2x x1 into 1 is x cos of angle y z x is equal to 1 by 2 when do we get the value of cos as 1 by 2 we get the value of cos as 1 by 2 when cos is when the angle is 60 degrees cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2 or else for, for just a little more clarity i'll do it this way angle y z x cos of angle y z x is equal to half now i'll write in place of half i'll write cos 60 degree because cos 60 degree is half now left hand side and right hand side you have both the same trigonometric ratios you can equate the angles here you can equate these angles here the angle y z x will be equal to 60 degrees so the angle y z x is equal to 60 degrees i have created this video exclusively for you Again, thanks for reaching out. If you have any questions in the future too, feel free to ask me. You can completely rely on us.
take care have a very nice day goodbye